This is the virtual tab window when you first open it. Click File, Open, choose the file you want to encode and click Open. Then this is the view left. You have the original on the right side due to a low resolution. You don't see the whole preview image on the right, but you don't have to. So just continue by clicking video and compression. Select the diffx codec and click configure. A home theater profile is fine. 1500 kilobits per second is fine. And choose multi-pass first pass and click OK. We can also apply filters. In this example, we use it to resize the video. Click video filters, scroll down and choose resize. In the following window, set the resolution to 640 by 480. Click OK two times. Now we want to also encode the audio. First we have to switch from direct stream copy to full processing mode. Just click audio, full processing mode. Then click audio again and choose compression. Here select the lame mp3 codec and use the standard 128 kilobit per second stereo constant bitrate setting. Click OK to confirm. And now we can save our first pass. Click File and select Save as AVI. Give it a new name and click Save. Let's speed that up a little bit. What we have to do now is do our second pass. Don't change anything, just select video compression again and click on configure and select multi-pass nth pass from the pull down menu. Click OK and save the file under the same name, overwrite the file. Confirm that you want to override it. And after the compression, you're done. The file is complete. You can view it or upload it. And it's only a fracture of the file size of the original.